First of all, you are here. I am You here. are here. Come on. Thank you for everybody who supported me because this is the reason I'm here. Yeah. Keep the mental game because one day things like this happen. You know, why is it? I think we've, we've talked a little bit about this, but what do you think it is about American fiction that made us all just fall head over heels? It's such, like, I can't even describe, how, like, it's an easy movie, but it's just, it's, a, it's an American tale in a way that we haven't seen in a while, I guess. Well, it's like your peanut butter meets my chocolate. Yeah. There's a real serious core to it, and it's funny. I mean, satire brings everyone together, and I think everyone agrees that when you put two things together, especially in genre, it might have um, a specific, I don't know, a voice. And, you know, the other person who did that really well was Jordan Peele, you know, in, in sort of fusing genre. So in that same way, the great Cord Jefferson taking Percival Everett's novel, did it, you put in Jeffrey Wright, throw in the little core line. Hey, you got a hit. <laughs> now, listen, you know that you are an icon for so many of us and have been for decades. But I wonder, with this film and the attention that it's gotten, have you seen a bit of like a, a I don't know, a new feeling, a newfound love for Erica in this business? Yes, I have. Okay. You know, I also, a lot of the people who are looking are people who are executives who were younger who always liked me, but now they're in positions to do things. And they are spreading the love and asking me to work with them and inviting me to places that I think heretofore maybe people, you know, may have liked me, but may not have really known me. They know me very well. Oh, we know you, baby, they and we love you. Well. But tonight is a celebration as well. I mean, a celebration of the movie, a celebration Come of on. your co-stars. Like, you all really, I mean, I hope you can and enjoy every single bit of it. I am, girl. I'm about to cry. I'm so happy. I am. I didn't think I'd be as overwhelmed, but I'm grateful just seeing your face. And I, I, I just feel really grateful now to have lasted this long. It's 40 years this year for me to be in the business, 30 years for living single. And um, I just wanted everybody to know that um, I didn't get here alone. It's everybody who's watching. They're wishing the best for me. Thank you. Yes, always. You know, I fangirl. We saw each other at a party the other night, yes. and I had to run up because literally it was a fangirl moment. I have loved you for decades. Thank you me. are incredible. I and I'm so glad now the masses are starting to hear <laughs> Erica Alexander. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. It's he is the Oscars, right? Okay, tell me about the, Tell me a little okay. secret about this. Oh, this is Kristen Seriano. He's always dressing women who are, have different bodies. He was one of the first to say, I'm going to dress people who are not typical. And that's what this movie is about, stereotypes. He wasn't going to play into the stereotype that designer needs six and below. And so I've always admired his career, the Project One Ray, all of that. And he made me this vision of a dress. It's couture, baby. Come it's on, couture. couture, baby. Come on. Okay, Come on. Game that we're okay. So you pick an envelope at random, and it's a random question that's tied to the Best Picture nominations okay. for the night. Come on, let me take the top. Okay, you're taking the top. Hey! Oh, and it's from your movie, of Look course! That. Okay, tell us about the most recent time you lied on your resume to get a job. Well, you know what? I never lied on my resume to get a job. You know what I mean? Didn't have to. One your reasons, resume speaks for itself. Well, you know what? One of the reasons they, they cast me is because I was new. I was actually discovered in a film called My Little Girl Merchant Ivory Film, and they were looking for little girls who were, were, were new. And when the dust cleared in Philadelphia, the New Freedom Theater, they chose me. And so that's why I have my career, because I was discovered. I love that story.